Hello world! Welcome to the second video of my Python drone playlist where I'll record a video with the Tello drone. Uh, I'll be going step by step on the coding of the drone because some of the other videos that I've seen on YouTube um, goes from step 1 to 100 in like 3 minutes and you have 500 lines of code and several functions and it's kind of hard to build off of that so I wanted to go step by step. So let's check out that code. But first, welcome to the 151st video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. So please consider subscribing to my channel if you like drones or, or you want to watch me build my, uh, digital, my own digital assistant. So now let's check out the code that we'll be using. And... Um, we're actually using the code directly from the DJI TeloPi um, documentation. So if you go here, uh, go to examples, and go to record video, we're basically using this line for line. So the only thing I didn't do is move up and go counterclockwise. So um, we're going to import time and CV2. And then we're going to use threading. So from threading, import thread. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, if you're not familiar with threading, uh, you can watch this video here where I give a real example of what uh, threading is used for. So just like in the first video, we're going to do Tello equals the class Tello, um, Tello.connect. And then we're going to say keep recording equals true. All right, and then Tello dot stream on, and then frame read equals Tello dot get frame read. All right, so you're going to call all that, and then we have this function called video recorder. You're going to pass it the height and width, and anytime you see this blank item right here, that means there's a third variable that's required by this right here, frame read dot frame dot shape. And we're just not going to use this third variable. You'll see this a lot in Python. So um, if you got rid of that, you'll get a uh, um, insufficient wrap error, which means it was expecting three variables and uh, it didn't get them. And then video equals cv2 dot video writer. Then you're going to pass it the name. So whatever you want your video to be, this is going to be called video dot avi. And then if you don't specify a file path, it's just going to go to your root file. So it's going to be in this Tello drone folder right here. Uh, CV2.VideoWriter equal, and then underscore F, oh, it's 4CC times XVID. And what that's doing is you're passing the encoder. I believe this is 30 frames per second. And then you're passing the width and height, which you determined here. We don't need this third variable for this part um because um we don't need that there so while keep recording so while this is true so until we hard code that this is false video dot write frame underscore read dot frame which is what we established here and then time dot sleep is uh this is 30 frames per second so one divided by 30. then we're going to do video dot release which stops the video portion of it um, but what you need to do, if you look at the documentation, it says we need to run the recorder in a separate thread because the way the code will read, you'll get some blocking options and it would prevent the frames from getting added to the video. So what threading does is allow you to do two things kind of simultaneously. We won't get into the nerdy stuff of Python. It's not truly simultaneously. But you go recorder equals thread, target equals video recorder. And that means this right here. You're just calling this function. Then we're going to do recorder.start. Then we're going to say tello, which is our drone, dot takeoff, tello.land. And then you're going to say keep recording equals false. So this portion of it is going to go false and release the video. And then it's going to go recorder.join, which ends this uh, thread as well. So... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this code. Uh, in the video here, you're going to see the drone take off. I don't know if it'll clip. Um, 
in this screen or not with my webcam and then I will show you what the video looks like okay so we will um, before we run the program let's uh, turn on our tele drone by clicking the little button to the side and then we will go to our Wi-Fi settings and wait until we see the tele drone Okay, there it is. Then we're going to connect to it. Okay, for some reason my uh, screen doesn't show that it gets connected. So uh, if I just click off and click back on, it says we're connected. And see, now we're connected. All right, so let me run this program. Okay, so as you can see, this uh, this passes all the logging here, and it gets quite a bit of uh, errors, which I'm not exactly sure what all that means yet, but if we kill it, the thing, and now you can see there's a video.avi in our folder, so let's watch that together. There we go. There I am. All right. So that's the quick little video. We could have uh, let it keep going. You know, we could have, uh, oh, sorry, right here. In between the takeoff and land, could have done some cool stuff. Could you showed you my whole bedroom? Um, and uh, which we'll do that in a future video. But now that we have this recording, um, what we can do is just um, wait for a key to be pressed to make this false, right? So we can add some logic into it. And then what we're really going to do is now that we have CV2 already, um, that's what Telodrone uses, is now we can do object and face recognition and really get to the good stuff of drone programming. So I hope you like this video. Uh, leave a comment if you're working with some other kind of drone. Um, I would love to see what else Python can do for the drone world. Um, please cons consider subscribing so you can watch the next video. Or you just want to watch me build my digital assistant. Thanks for watching. Goodbye world.